Hey everyone, so I've got a really fun little video for you. I kind of think I'm going to be making this into a series now because um, there's always some bargains to be had and they're actually not that bad. They're really, really good. And I was watching a video the other day and somebody bought, um, this is Kids' Choice um, and it's the watercolour, the Arts and, what's it, Arts and Crafts um, Soft Natural Hair Artist Brush Set. You get four sizes of each, number one, three, and five, and they are by Royal Langnickel. Um, so yeah, there's 12 pieces. They're not as big as what I would normally use, but the size, the sizes anyway, they're great for traveling and small detail work. Um, well, I say small work, the lady that I watched who used them actually did quite a big piece with these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test them out myself just to see what they're like. Um, these were only £1.59, but I'm pretty sure you can get them cheaper elsewhere. Now, I'm going to put together, just now, let me see if I can find my... Right, so, let's move this water. Okay, let's move that. And then, make more space. Right. Okay, so, oh yeah, that was it. Let me just show you, okay, in this video. Now, before I test these watercolour brushes out, I'm going to show you what art supplies. I'm going to, might have to zoom out. Let's see. Okay, so you've got watercolour brushes, watercolour pencils. I have three sets, different sets, because um, if you have a hunt round in the pound shop in the UK, you can actually find different sets of these watercolours. Now, um, obviously there's more in this one than there are in these two. Um, and in here I've done the colour swatches of these, but they're actually not that bad. They're an excellent way to build up a collection of watercolours just to experiment and have fun with. And there are actually some really lovely vibrant ones in here, like this green and pink. Um, I think they're more vibrant um, in this set than they are in this one, so I'd probably go for that one would be my go-to one if I wanted to use them, these cheap sets. That's a, I haven't got the swatch, I need to put the swatch card in there. That's another one with more colours, again, a pound. So I have three sets of watercolours, so that's, that was obviously come to three pounds. Next, the watercolour pencils, I'll leave the link below to the uh, videos I've done on these. And these are actually quite good. Um, they're very good, to be honest, for a pound, they're excellent. And then another thing if you're into um, art journaling and uh, using mixed media are these makeup sponges. Now these are fantastic for to use as blending tools to put paint or ink on and then dab through stencils and there are 30 in here and this cost me a pound. So already now I have my brushes, I've got my tools, my watercolours I've even got some oil colours, which I will, I haven't used, I will do a, um, I'll show you what they look like. I can do, I can do a video on these, same brand as the watercolour pencils, these are the oil paints. I'm going to be doing a, um, or taking part, hopefully, in a course which involves using oil paints. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to using these and seeing how these turn out. I haven't used oil paints before, so really I think I should just use, um, compare it to a more expensive brand. So I think I'll just wait before I do a, a video on these. So I have oil paints, I have some crayons. These are available everywhere. These are from Wilco's, but you can buy them so cheaply everywhere. I don't even have to tell you where you can buy them from. You can get them just all sorts of places. I just find that, I found these colours were just beautiful. That's why I picked these ones up. I think they're like 50p or something. So already you've got here, all these craft items, a brilliant craft um, art supply stash for under 10 pounds. What's that? That's three, four, five, six. Yeah, under 10 pounds. So then you can also get your acrylic paints as well for, uh, you know, from, um, in fact, I did, I bought some, um, I should have been more prepared for this video, because I've just realized I bought a set for 2 99 here they are. I was really intrigued. These are neon acrylic paints. 
I saw somebody buy the metallic. Metallic ones didn't really appeal to me. But when I went into B&M Bargains, I saw these. And for 2 99 I actually thought, I checked the lid, but they were sealed. So I thought, well, for 2 99 let's go for it because it's very hard to find some good neon paints. And generally speaking, I normally would not have gone anywhere near these. I thought they would be too watery, too um, transparent, you know, because it's very difficult to get a very opaque neon uh, colour in the acrylics. But since buying items on uh, a budget, I thought, well, it'd be really good to try try them out. And um, I'm really, really glad I did because I was really blown away. I used them on my jelly plate for Brea. So in here, that's my jelly plate. And then I used this Brea, added it to the plate, just did that. <laughs> And I will show you how it turned out. There's a tag somewhere. I'm not sure where I put that. But I tried it on my um, tissue paper because I've been doing lots of experimenting with the tissue paper. And I'm going to have to do another video because I've just found some really lovely... Um, oh, what do you call it? I found some really lovely different techniques. Not just on watercolour paper, but on other colours, uh, papers. Sorry, I'm getting really carried away. I've just seen something else that I can't wait to share with you, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to have to wait. Anyway, yeah, can you see that? So this is on tissue paper. And then, um, look at that. Just, I think I'm just being really, really lucky with all the um, cheap art supplies. Because that is fantastic. And I'm going to compare it to my, oh, what other one have I got? Um, I can't remember the brand, hang on. Normally I just use my Ducraft fabric paint because I thought that was a really good, a good um, vibrancy on that one. Um, what brand was it? Oh, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Uh, what's it? I've got a wheelie trolley thing here. Not as nice as the Ikea ones, but it does the job. And um, this one, uh, Opera Rose. So I think I'm gonna have to compare them, but I've just felt that's really lovely color. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna do a comparison video on them because that, they're really good. And the blue and the green were awesome as well. So um, they will be perfect for mixed media. Um, you don't have to start off with expensive stuff well, you don't have to start off with expensive stuff anyway, but, you know, just to play around with. Yeah, these are amazing. So I have my acrylic paints. Yeah, all this under £10. Well, that would, that's two ninety nine. So one, so say, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's £10 there and I have loads. That is a fantastic... Um, yeah, £10 for a whole supply. It's just brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, if you are struggling and you are on a budget, um, you don't miss out. You can obviously pick up some items and get your craft stash going. So, all right, enough rambling. Let's do this. I'm going to try the biggest of them all, which is the five. So they come like that. So that would be the five. I'm assuming it doesn't say. They're all very plasticky, but they're really, really good size for traveling. Look at my water. Um, do you know what I'll do? Yeah, I think what I'll do is to test them. I'll use my watercolor, my cheap, since these are budget, um, budget blah, blah, brushes. I'll use my budget items as opposed to my expensive watercolours. So I'll use these. And uh, let's see. Let's try this red. Make sure you can see. Really love these. The vibrancy are brilliant on these. And then my. Okay. Now. When I was watching the video, she said it holds, oh yeah, it does hold its shape. Okay. 
Need some tissue again. Which is also from the pound shop. <laughs> I'm not tight with my money. What I'm doing is I'm just showing everybody that you don't have to be, um, you know, you don't have to have loads of money to be able to start buying art supplies. You can actually get a good collection going. So it's a new brush, so it's uh, just breaking into it. And she and the video I saw, she uh, said the, there was no stray hairs or anything like that, which is good. And so far, so good. So that's that. Let's get that. There's a lovely pink on this on this set. So it's that one. Just spray it. You have to really spray these ones. Such a lovely colour. It's amazing. It's blown away by how uh, yeah, vibrant these ones are. I love there's a green in this that I really love as well. Is it this one? Yeah. Do you know when you look at it in the palette? Yeah, that that one it looks totally different to um, that's why I like to keep swatch cards, it looks totally different to the colour on there. It's so neon, it's unbelievable. I don't know how they've got this colour, I have no idea. But it's a really neony green, it's amazing. And it does not look that colour in the palette. <laughs> it just goes to show you, you have to try these things for yourself, you really do. It's a fantastic green to have in your collection. That's so awesome. This brush is holding up really well actually. It's perfect, this size, this brush is perfect for, um, definitely for travelling. Obviously not for like mass, oh, not for massive, massive projects. What colour shall I do next? Let's try, oh, let's try that red. That's a really nice colour. Yeah, this brush is doing really well. I'm liking it. So used to using the big fat chunky brushes though, like the mop brush, this one here. So like this mop brush, gorgeous, picks up so much water, really good for flowing projects, you know, for getting a load of watercolour down on your paper, excellent brush. Um, and it does hold the water. Obviously this is smaller, but it's holding water as well. It's um, doing really, really well. Um, hmm. So let's just mix a couple of colours while we're here. Let's do, this is quite a light pink. Again, it doesn't look anything like it. I don't know if you can see that, but this one here in the palette looks quite dark, but when you get it down on the paper, it's really light. So we've got that and then maybe add a little bit of light yellow. This is a really fun little brush. Really nice colour. Lovely orange. Oh, it's such a fun brush. I'm really pleased. I'm so glad I got these. Hmm. Let's see, what other colour should we do? Let's do this red. do some swatches of these um that's a really nice color of these pound paints you know to mix mix them and get different colors from them see what happens I, I haven't done that yet that's a lovely color wow <laughs> really nice yeah so um fun little these are fun little brushes um i think i only did one hair come off just then I think one hair but no that's held up really really well now that is compared to these ones you get from your pound trays of palettes sorry watercolors they're 
very stiff, they're no good at all. Um, I don't use them. In fact, they're probably really good for, for, in fact, let's try that. They're probably good for, let's get a bright colour, splattering. I don't know, let's see. Just This is just an experiment, I've no idea what's going to happen. Let's fully load it up and do that. Oh yeah, okay. So I found a use for it, I think. Um, hang on. Yeah, it works. <laughs> okay, this is really awesome. These brushes, it turns out, from your pound uh, watercolour set, are actually good for creating, uh, just for flicking, oh, what do you call them? It creates like a, you can get quite a fine mist on that. Yeah, for creating, um, my mind's gone blank. You know, blobs of um, colour, like. Yeah, so it turns out it has a use, after all, it does something. <laughs> um, so yeah, these these are very, very, go down to, oh, let's see, one, which is really, really fine. So I'll just show you, and I might just use a bright, let's try one of my new watercolours I've got. Use this new colour I have. Oh, so you can get a really lovely fine line with that. That's nice. Yeah, these I would say are really, really handy to have. Um, let's use. I love this moon glow. Catch it bits out in the water. I don't know if that picks it up, but yeah, it goes boom as soon as it hits the water on a page. Very nice. Yeah, so for 159, these are not bad at all for um, if you're wanting that size. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't tried any other like really mega. Well, saying that, I mean, I have got, oh, which ones do I normally use? Like these are awesome. These are the ones, uh, I think they're Royal Lang Nickel as well. Um, these are fantastic. Can't remember how much I paid for this one, but they are relatively cheap as well. But yeah, if you're looking for um, just a really cheap set, if you have children you want to buy, art supplies for then this is perfect it really is so um that is my roundup and review of cheap supplies i will do yeah i'll no doubt do a video on the um sorry get carried away of the acrylics i'm gonna do a if you're interested in me doing a comparison video of the acrylic paints um then i i will do that um and also later on I'll do the watercolours and I'll always be keeping an eye out as well for bargain supplies. Uh, before I go, there is the, I will do a video on this. No, sorry, I have done the video on my brushes, sorry. Um, yeah, I have a video on these, um, these brushes. This is artists, I mean, a lot of artists use these. Um, these are high-end items. They're not like your pound shop items, but with that being said, they're really, really amazing value for money as well. So um, check these out online. I'll leave a link to where I bought mine from. But um, I colour coordinated them all with these pins. And you just shake them. I'll show you. If you haven't seen it before, you just shake them. And it there's like three different colours in that one. This is uh, sea green. And they're like colour crystals. And you can use them like watercolours. And the vibrancy of the colour is amazing and you can get some really amazing effects and patterns. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Please focus. 
Yeah, and you can mix them in a palette, get different colours. So yeah, they're another cheap item to add to your collection. So thanks so much for watching. Again, any questions, just pop them below and I will get back to you. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.